Hello and welcome to God's Art Ministries. I am Evangelist Gary Davis here presenting to you God the Creator by God's Art Ministries. I will be your sole host today. Pastor Trina was not available to help record today, but she will be back soon. Amen. According to Psalm 8511, faithfulness, which is God's word, springs up from the ground, his artwork revealed by his Holy Spirit, and righteousness, his children, namely us, looks down from the sky. The satellite images from the satellites in the sky. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you're ready, let's take this world for a spin and let revelation begin. Amen. God the Creator. Oh, how awesome and beautiful he is. Going to look at some scripture here real quick. Nehemiah 966. You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is in it, the seas and all that is in them. And you preserve all of them, and the host of heaven worships you. Praise the Lord. Genesis 1-1, the creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is a uh, detailed cutout of God the Creator. Um, gonna look here, brightness is at about plus 9%. The arrows outline the great laurel wreath on his head. The red arrows are his eyes. So beautiful and majestic. Here we are again, another photo at 40% contrast. Kind of details a little better the great laurel wreath and the outline of his face. Just so awesome. Bold and majestic he is. Isaiah 45, 7. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. Isaiah 66, 2. All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. You know, I want to talk about Isaiah 45, 7. Um, just a minute. I make well-being and create calamity. Um, people really need to take that into the context that it is. He does not create calamity for his children. He does not create calamity for those who are going to come to him. The create, uh, creation of calamity that he does is for the evil of this world. Amen. If you'll see here in the image, the red arrow is pointed at the fruit that Adam and Eve ate from. The black arrow right there is Eve. After they ate of the fruit, it brought upon death. And then the last arrow here in the purple is Adam's head. They're both under the leaves of the tree from the fruit that they ate in the garden. Just awesome. He's looking over his creation. The creation that he loves is us, mankind. He made us in his image and his likeness. He made us to be like him. Amen. To, to depend on him. Praise the Lord. Want to take you to, uh, the Google Earth over here by Damascus in Syria, right next to Jordan. I'm gonna zoom in here, take a little look. 
you know, we're identifying where these are at so that you can go see them for yourself. And hopefully God will touch you either watching this video or when you go to look at them for your own benefit. But right here outlining God the Creator in the images that we just saw. There's his head and his shoulders coming down his left arm, which is the same arm that he stretched out when he gave us our Savior, Jesus. And we're going to zoom in a little bit here to the fruit right there and over here to Eve, up to Adam. Right here on Adam's leaf is the fall of man. Right here, that's the scene in the garden with the serpent in the tree. Nephilim and the woman. Right here, God the potter making up his right eye. And then his left eye right here, his nose angel of the Lord over his mouth which is representing the spoken word of God oh glory so beautiful the great laurel wreath that we've already seen detailed so awesome so majestic so full of love top of his head coming down to his shoulder Zoom in right here a little bit. That's Satan hiding behind his destruction. We have videos on all of these. Um, we tried to record a bunch of them together. The videos were just too long. People weren't watching them. So we're trying to cut them down a little bit to where people will take time to see the glory of the Lord and the beautiful things that God has prepared for those who love him want to take a quick look at the elevation so you can see what's around in here. Um, basically, it's just sand. You know, take a look around. It's just awesome how God has drawn these things out in the middle of nowhere. Nothing around. Not a bunch of rocks and trees. Man-made stuff. Um, not sure how he made these but i can tell you it's something pretty awesome amen thank you lord jesus for revealing truth to your children so awesome get on with some more scripture here verifying the word of god genesis 1 31 and god saw everything that he made and behold it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. Speaking in regards to man is so awesome. Jeremiah ten eleven. Thus shall you say to them, The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. Amen. So awesome and beautiful to see God the Creator. We're going to take a look now. This is at 40% contrast again. We don't uh, Photoshop these images. This is the actual image. If you go to Google Earth or any other satellite image service that you want to use on the Internet, I like Google Earth because it's in color and it helps to define um some of the images a lot better and we have a relationship with one of the companies that provides these where we have had numerous of these satellite images confirmed to be on film slides in their office psalm 96 5 for all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols but the lord made the heavens first timothy 4 4 for everything God created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. Amen. Isaiah thirty-seven sixteen, O Lord of hosts, 
God of Israel, enthroned above the cherubim. You are the God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Genesis 1, 4. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. Amen. Jesus divided from Satan. God the Creator. Looking here again in Scripture. Isaiah 45, 18. For thus says the Lord who created the heavens. He is God who formed the earth and made it. He established it. He did not create it empty. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is no other. Colossians 1, 16. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. Praise the Lord. Again, 40% contrast. Isaiah 42, 5. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So awesome, you know, to to be a part of this, um, revealing satellite images according to Scripture. Uh, Ezekiel's vision in chapter one. Um, if you'll read that carefully, and then go to Google Earth, you'll see that God revealed satellite image to Ezekiel. And that was what, about 3,000 years ago, um, before man had even invented a computer. And, um, you know, all of man's ideas come from God. Um, everything that he creates is intended for good, but it can only be intended for good if man will use free will in a way to glorify him. Amen. And this does not take away or add to the word in any form or fashion. What these satellite images do is they confirm the word of God. So just, just know that you are part of something as big as the Bible, as big as our God. This is him at work in our lives, confirming his truth in the Bible. To date, we have nearly 3,000 satellite images confirming 55 books of the Bible. Stories from those books. David and Goliath, Adam and Eve, God the Creator, the God of Patience, the Trinity, um, you know, the, the Ten Plagues of Egypt, Moses at the Burning Bush, the Chained Beast, the, the Bride and the Groom, the the marriage, um, Christ, the passion of Christ, God forsaking Jesus at the whipping post. You know, we have all of these images that confirm the word of God. What a blessing that God has given us through here, um, through these images. And we are so pleased and so happy and we give him glory we give Jesus glory and we give his Holy Spirit glory for revealing them to us. We thank him and praise him for using us to give him that glory in a way that, that sanctifies his truth in his word. So awesome. So awesome. First Corinthians 2 9. But as it is written, what no eye has seen nor ear heard nor the heart of man imagined what God 
has prepared for those who love him. He prepared these things so that you would have truth. It's not something made by man. It's not developed by man. Some of these images are seven, eight hundred miles long. No way that man could make these. Only God can make the things. Amen. You know what? We keep bringing these things to you. We ask that you become a part of this mission to partner with us um, to confirm God's word to the world. We, we don't charge anyone for any of our books, our publications, our videos. Um, we, we don't allow them to be sold in any country. But we want you to partner with us and help us to keep bringing these awesome stories of love to the world. Partner with us to glorify God, Christ Jesus, and His Holy Spirit. You can do so by going to paypal.me forward slash God's Art in Canada. You can mail your check or money order to Care of Gary or Trina Davis, Box 94, Warman, SK, Canada, S0K4S0. Or in the United States, in care of Gary or Trina Davis, 112 Samantha Drive, Tecumseh, Oklahoma, 74873. If you want to reach us, you can email us at info at godsartministries.com. We, we read each and every email Trina and I both do. We pray over your gifts. We pray over your emails. If you have a prayer request, send those to us. We will pray with you uh, if it lines up with God's word. If you want to send us hate emails, hey, that's fine. We we trash those and we uh, report it as spam. So, you know, we, we don't have time for all that nonsense, but we do have time for people who are serious about God, those who want to know God. And those who don't know him, don't really want anything to do with him, but they're curious because that curiosity is God touching their heart. So we will take time everywhere we can for any of God's children. Amen. We want the love that he has put for us in his truth in the Bible to be confirmed through these satellite images that, that reveal truth to his children. Amen. So awesome. We ask that you become a part of it. In Jesus' name, we thank you and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.